Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, I'm gonna talk you through a repository I recently found on my Bitbucket account after I was going through and trying to clear up some old repositories. Now this is the code um, I made back in 2010, so basically 10 years ago now, that is the, the start of a cricket simulator. So what it basically does is it lets you select two um, teams, select the players and the teams from a, um, a squad, and then it will pit them against each other in a match. Now, if you don't know um, much about cricket, the way it works is each team um, plays against each other and tries to knock over um, some sticks at the end of about 20 yards and people bowl a ball and try and hit these sticks and then the other team are trying to defend them with a bat. Um, so don't worry about it, it doesn't really matter for this example, but the way it works is you change who's bowling um, every six deliveries. So in this game, you can basically do that. So you can choose who's going to bowl each time, and then that will change the way that the simulation works. So I'll show you a quick example of the game in action, and then I'll go through a little bit of the code. But the idea behind this video is basically to see if I should modernize this, change it from PHP, which is in at the moment in a massive spaghetti mess, into something a bit more modern, perhaps JavaScript, and release it and see if anyone finds it um, interesting or useful or even a game to a game to play. So let's have a look at what it does um, to begin with. So first let's select the teams. Now as far as I'm aware there's only two teams that actually work. It says England and Australia. So you select your teams, then you select your, your side. So this bit is one of the things where the user experience isn't great so I'll just skip ahead and select my team here. Okay so there's my team selected there as you can see. The players here are all back from 2010 mostly as well. So I'll select team ready. Now I'll select the Australian team. And again, I'll skip ahead um, through this bit. Okay, so there's that Australian team selected as well. And I'll click uh, team ready. And then we can go to the coin toss. We won, we're gonna bat first. So then we click begin. So this is where there's a few parts where images um, weren't in the, the code when I found it. So ignore that. In fact, I'll, I'll hide all the images for now. Okay, so that's all the images hidden. And then this is how the game works. So down here, um, you have the England team that I selected here, um, and you can choose who's going to bowl. So let's start with Peter Siddle. So you just click next over. So if I click that now, it's gonna simulate the over ball by ball. So it should be six balls here. So if I press this button, so you see there, it tells us the speed and what happened. So that was a dot ball, then a four, another dot ball, dot ball, dot ball, and that's the over there. So you can see the stats from that over there and their economy rate. So if we go for another over here, so we've got different types of bowlers. So if we use a spinner this time, so Nathan Lyon bowling some spin. So we do next ball, next, next. And then there's a four again. Um, but if I simulate through a few overs, you can just get an idea of how this works. There's a wicket there. so. That'd be an interesting one to check if that was something that was a weakness or a strength. I'll mention in a minute when we look at the code. So okay, that's a few um, overs we've simulated there. And there's a few things that might jump out if you're aware of um, how cricket works that in terms of realism aren't quite there. So for example, you can see here Jonathan Trott hit a six, which he's not particularly well known for. Um, and the strike rates aren't too far off from where you'd expect um, for test cricket, which this was intended to be for rather than 2020 or one day matches. Um, but as I mentioned, this was back in 2010. So if I was to redo this now, there's a few things I think I'd really try and push to make it much more realistic. But I'll show you quickly um, a bit of the code around the algorithms around how this is actually designed to work. So if we go into Atom now, um, this is the um, file that basically simulates the the outcome that should happen. So if we look down here, um, we have a function basically that tries to determine an outcome with a number of weightings on different things. So when you add players in the database, they have a strength, a weakness, and a style that they play in. So that could be defensive, it could be aggressive, similar to what you'd find in real cricket. And then they have an average based on past performance. So it's constantly adjusting um, what could happen based on this. Now, if we see here, these are the different types of um, style. So as we can see here, each of these adjust the chance ever so slightly. Um, so you can see here we have 
the defensive player here is more likely to have a dot ball than an attacking player. We can see if they're, they're a touch player, they're more likely to have a four, so they're keeping the ball along the ground, than the other styles of players. So as you can see here, I've added comments on what I wanted to add in the future, but I never got around to it. Um, down here, we can see the effects of the weather. Now, I don't remember coding the weather into it, so I think this was just a plan for the future, but how if it's um, colder, it might be more likely to swing. If it's warmer, it could be that the bounce is affected, you know, different things like this um, that could be added in the future. And if we look down here, you can see how the age of the ball, so how many um, how long the game's been going on can make the ball softer and less likely to have certain um, types of outcomes. Maybe the spinners are more effective the, the older the ball gets, so there's rough on the pitch. Again, some of these things might be quite um, cricket related, so if you don't know, that won't make sense, but don't worry. Um, so here's more um, of the function down here, so to do with the weather. Um, and then there's a lot of things down here that can change the potential outcomes based on these different things. So this is the code here, but again, there's a lot of a lot of issues with how things were done. It's quite a while ago, um, but there's some things here you can see to get an idea of how it actually works. So down here, you can see the chance of there being a wicket, so the person getting out, um, and this changes based on the different types of parameters and skill levels, and then the bowling speed here. So in the database, we have like a minimum and a maximum range that they're likely to have, and then it automates or it randomizes between these how quick this delivery should be. And then that has an impact on how that batsman faces it. If they've got a weakness against faster bowling, if it's above a certain speed, that can adjust the chance of certain things happening as well. Um, but yeah, so there's a few things that I definitely want to change if I was to look into this more. So that's just a quick glance over the code. And then there's another thing I want to show as well, which is some images that I think I was planning on adding to this as well. So things like the dot balls, you can see there's little GIFs like this and GIFs like this as well. Um, for four runs, little animations. Um, and we've got another one down here. If you hit a six, for example, we could move like that. There's a few things that could be added into this. So my main question to you right now is, do you think I should develop this more? Should I modernize this into something like JavaScript, for example, or even just updated um, PHP or something to make this more, um, well, just improve all of it really. Should it be something I should look into and put onto the channel? Let me know. But that is a cricket simulator that I made in 2010. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting, um, subscribe and comment if you think I should do more videos on this and modernize this uh, into a new uh, project. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.